What's up everybody, I'm Seth Fowler and today I'm giving you guys the long-awaited review of the Nike Air Max 197 Sean Weatherspoon. Thanks so much for tuning in today. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet and you want to see more reviews just like this one. Also make sure to give me a follow on Instagram and on Twitter at RealSethFowler. But with all that out of the way, let's get into it. First off, I want to give a huge shout out to my friends over at Sneaker Flea for finally helping me grab a pair of these Sean Weatherspoons. I'll leave a link to their Instagram in the description below. The Air Max 197 Sean Weatherspoon was a shoe that I've been trying to get for a very long time. It first released last year in very limited numbers and then re-released again this year on my birthday, March 26th, which is also Air Max Day. I spent the entire day trying to grab a pair. I was walking around the city all day with cash in my pocket trying to just buy it off anyone on the street, but no one was willing to sell them and it was probably smart on their part because the resale has jumped so much even just since then. I mean, I get it, it's a great shoe, but the prices right now are absolutely insane. So the story behind this sneaker is about a year ago, Nike held a competition to find the next iteration of the Air Max. They invited a couple different influencers and store owners and people like that to actually design the sneakers. Sean Weatherspoon, the co-founder of Round 2, was of course one of those designers. Nike opened up voting to the public and the winner of this competition would actually have their shoe produced and sold next Air Max day. So as I'm sure you know by now or at least saw by the title of the video, Sean Weatherspoon won the entire contest. He had a really interesting take on the Air Max 97 by using materials that he loved like corduroy that can be found on clothes from the 90s and 80s, which makes sense because the store that he owns is Round 2 which sells a lot of vintage clothing. He also really loved the outsole of the Air Max 1, so rather than using the standard Air Max 97 outsole, he actually switched that out for the Air Max 1 outsole. But one of the coolest things about the sneaker was that it was actually designed to be worn and beaten up. So the whole idea is the more you wear the sneaker, the better it looks. But really quick before we get into the sneaker itself, let's take a look at the box. In my opinion, Sean and Nike totally nailed the design of this box. The base color comes in that standard red that you're used to from most Air Max boxes. They really didn't cut any corners when it comes to design. The entire box is covered in this really nice satin finish and the actual cardboard that they used is a lot thicker than standard boxes. It gives it a really nice heft and it's also a lot more premium feeling than most other boxes. On the top of the box, in place of your standard white Nike logo, they actually added a really nice close-up shot of the sneaker. You get a really nice feel for the color of the sneakers and also the layered corduroy panels. You have that same logo on both sides of the box and on the back. And then on the front of the box, you have your size tag with the name of the shoe, the Air Max 197 VFSW. Then when you actually open the box, you greet it with some more text. The text reads, for the 30th anniversary of the Air Max 1, 12 revolutionaires were invited to design the future of air. The first ever Air Max designed by the community for the community. The winner was Sean Weatherspoon, vintage store owner and lifelong Air Max fan, who brought together an Air Max 97 upper and the iconic Air Max 1 midsole and outsole. Like the corduroy Nike hats of the 80s that inspired them, they are made to wear and designed to fray. The more you wear them, the better they get. Nike nailed this box. So without further ado, let's jump right into the sneakers. Here they are, the Air Max 197 Sean Weatherspoon. This is such a well put together and designed shoe. I love it. As mentioned before, the upper of the shoe is taken from an Air Max 97. Rather than using standard leather panels on the upper, Sean opted to use corduroy, which was inspired by his love of corduroy hats from the 80s. Starting off on the toe of the shoe and running all the way around the base of the upper, you've got this dark forest green corduroy panel. One of my favorite details about the shoe is that none of the corduroy panels actually have their grain going in the same direction. So for example, on the space panel on the lateral side, the lines of the corduroy all run horizontally. But because of the way the material wraps around the shoe, on the medial side, the same piece of corduroy actually has vertical lines. Then right above that, you've got this dark purple corduroy panel where all the lines run diagonally. And of course, the same thing goes for the bright blue panel above that. The rest of the upper is covered in a salmon pink, a dark gray, and sort of a cream yellow. On the lateral side of the toe, you've got this mini Nike swoosh embroidered in bright blue. I don't know why, but I love when they add the mini swoosh. As you would expect, the tongue of the shoe also comes in this cream yellow corduroy. You've also got cream yellow rope laces that come pre-laced on the sneaker. If you're not a huge fan of those and want some more contrast on the upper, you also have a couple other lace options. You've got purple, blue, and white. I think the yellow looks great, so I'm definitely not going to change it. At the top of the laces, you've actually got this really subtle design touch. Both ends of the laces have metal aglets, except one comes in silver and one comes in gold. And then at the top of the tongue, you've actually got this removable Velcro patch. The patch that comes on the shoe is actually a blue wave, but they also give you a Nike swoosh patch if you want to switch it out. Also, a cool touch is that if you remove the patch, there's a mini Nike swoosh underneath. At the very top of the tongue, you've actually got this piece of light wash denim to act as a pull tab. Inside the sneaker, the entire sock liner is covered in this cream yellow velour. 
velour. The insole of the shoe is also covered in velour, except this time in sort of a light blue. And then stitched into the heel, you've got this bright orange smiling Nike swoosh patch. As for fit, the Air Max 197 Sean Witherspoon definitely fits big. Unfortunately, the pair that I have is already a size big, which makes the problem even bigger for me, so I'm either going to double sock it or try and trade it with somebody. But I have tried on a pair in my size, and I can tell you, they definitely fit big. If you can, I would suggest going down half a size unless you have really wide feet. Just about everyone I know who grabbed a pair of these went down half a size because the true to size fit just was a little too loose. Moving back on the shoe to the midfoot, you've actually got this small corduroy panel in brown, and embroidered in the center of that panel is a Nike swoosh in cream yellow. Moving around to the back of the sneaker, you've got another light wash denim pull tab. You've actually got VA to LA embroidered in white on the pull tab. Moving downward, the shoe changes from an Air Max 97 to an Air Max 1. You've got a full Air Max 1 midsole in cream white. The midsole is accented by a heel air unit in red. Finally, moving to the bottom of the sneaker, you find an Air Max 1 outsole. The outsole comes in pretty much all of the colors of the upper. You've got your yellow, your blue, your gray, and your pink. Overall, the Air Max 197 Sean Witherspoon proves that sneakerhead's dreams can actually come true. I really like the design of the shoe, the colors that he chose, and the fact that it's designed to be worn. But what I really love about this shoe is that it shows that someone with enough passion and enough drive can actually achieve their dreams. And that is cooler than any sneaker. So congrats to Sean for realizing one of his dreams and letting us be a part of it. Now that we've got the review out of the way, let's throw these guys on feet and see how they look. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the Air Max 197 Sean Witherspoons and whether you're planning to get a pair for yourself, so make sure to leave those comments in the comment section down below. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't yet, and I'll see you guys in the next one.